I, yes, when you intercede and you pray, you invite God into the circumstance and the situation, and God will uh, honor such prayers and intervene within the limits of his own nature and character. Meaning, God will never take control of another person's mind. He doesn't take freedom from a person. He will bring truths to bear. He will give opportunities for new decision making. He will bring circumstances and situations that will uh, impact the person as long as that person hasn't gone beyond the point of destroying the faculties through which he works. If the person has been in rebellion so long that they've completely seared the conscience, hardened the heart, warped the character to the point that they have no recognition of truth and they have no value of love, then they're unreachable by God because God reaches people with truth and love. Some, that's called the unpardonable sin. They have hardened themselves against the work of the Holy Spirit and their faculties that recognize. It would be like a person without eyes trying to read. It doesn't matter how much light you shine on the subject, physical light, they can't see it. There are some people that have destroyed the faculties. So our prayers will invite in, there's no question, and God will do all in his power for all people.